Lao Adventures, Lanterns, Episode 3, from the former capital of the Lao People's Democratic Republic. Every year at the end of October, the Laos celebrate the end of Buddhist Lent, Ok Pensa, or at least that's as close as I can come to saying the name correctly. Luang Prabang hosts the biggest celebration of this festival, and people from all over Laos come to celebrate here. So in preparation, I was super excited about making my very own Ok Pensa lantern. Maybe one of the most exciting things about this process is that as you'll see, making an Ok Pensa lantern is not that different from making a Bermuda kite for Easter. The first step of the process was to split a piece of bamboo into thin strips. As strong as bamboo is, it amazed me at how easily it could be broken. The first step was to make the star structure itself, and for this we needed the bamboo, string, some white glue that resembles Elmer's, and a little bit of patience. To make the star structure, we would have to first make two stars. Each star needed five pieces of long bamboo. Here I'll walk you through how to make one star, and you would simply repeat the process for the second. The first step was to take two long pieces of bamboo and tie them tightly together at a far end, using string. Wrap several times and tie tightly each time. Then cut off the excess string. Once this is complete, take a third piece of bamboo and tie it to the opposite end, creating a Z shape. Leaving these pieces of bamboo alone, take the final two pieces and tie them tightly at a far end. Now you should have one Z shape and one V shape. Now we take these Z and V shapes and place them into the shape of a star. This takes a little bit of finagling, and in the end we need to make sure that the bamboo is interlaced. So we need to double check that each piece of bamboo rises over, then under another. As you can see, it took me some time to get this right, and I had to have a little bit of help. Once the shape comes together, Tie each point of the star with string. Again, tie multiple times and tie very tightly. Don't forget to cut off any excess string. Repeat this process with the second star. Once both stars are complete, lay them on top of each other and tie the corners of each together with more string, tightly. So we've used the bamboo and the string. Now comes time for the glue. Dip the ends of the shorter pieces of bamboo into Elmer's glue on both ends. The first will be the trickiest. Carefully pry your bamboo stars apart and insert the short bamboo stick in the middle. Repeat this process four more times until you have a 3D star. I decided to add just a little bit of glue to each join to make sure that the star stuck together well once I started to put the paper on. Now comes the fun part, deciding what kind of paper you'd like to decorate your star with. Here we used handmade paper, but you could also use tissue paper. For the ease of this lesson, the paper had already been cut into triangles for us, but of course if you're doing this at home, you'd have to take time to do that. Starting with the corners of the stars, I lined each piece of bamboo with glue on the top or the bottom and laid my beautiful handmade paper on top. It's important here to make sure that the paper is taut because you don't want to have corners of your star that sag. Fold over the paper as much as possible and stick it on the reverse as well, but don't fuss too much over corners because those will be dealt with later. Once all the corners of your star are complete, it's time to trim off the excess paper and make it as neat as possible. Turn your star over and repeat. The inside triangles of your star are covered much the same way, but I chose to use a different color. 
The next step is to cut a piece of paper for the center of our star. You can see that I take my chosen piece of paper and place it under the star, taking a marker and tracing the inside of the shape. The key thing here is when you cut out your shape, do not cut on the line you have drawn, but cut just outside the line so that you have space to glue the shape to the frame. If you don't, the shape that you cut out will simply fall through. It'll be too small. Once that's done, stick them down and trim off the extra pieces of paper. The final stage is to take thin strips of what looks like Christmas wrapping paper to cover the seams on all edges of your star. I chose to leave some extra dangling off the edge of each corner. Some people cut the edge of the trimmings, but then add tassels to the end. Much like the tail on a Bermuda kite, there are lots of variations, so pick whichever one you find most beautiful. These lanterns are hung outside of houses and walks, and lights are inserted into the top of them. If you decide to do this with your lantern, you'll need to take an X-Acto knife and cut a small hole out of one of the sides of the star. Now you can consider yourself ready for the festival. Stay tuned for the next episode when I'll show you exactly how beautiful the light festival actually was. Until next time.